Hi guys and gals, Shane Stevenson, you know where, at the Buffalo Naval Park. And thanks for tuning in again, and for today's video, uh, I'm going to be focusing on the officer accommodation ladder. Uh, you can see here in our current configuration, uh, it's at frame 16. You can see that right down there. All right, very close to the bow. All right, and of course that leads us down to the croaker. This is the original ladder. The question is though, is this in the same spot when the ship was in service? And I don't think so. All right, so we're gonna take a look at uh, the original spot for the officers and dignitaries accommodation ladder and uh, talk a little bit more about Ray Mabus. Uh, so when Seknav was on board, uh, he said he started out in the uh, communication signal division, all right, so CS division, and he was up top with the signalman. He then be, he worked his way down to the bridge, Radio Central, as the comm officer, and then he also did time as the OOD, officer of the deck. All right, and he said he would stand watch at the quarter deck here on Little Rock and uh, usher people on and, uh, and uh, check out people when they're disembarking from the ship. So if our officer accommodation ladder is here, all the way over there where that white door is, is the quarter deck. That seems pretty far, doesn't it? So let's go check out the quarter deck officer, the office of the OOD, officer of the deck. All right, you'll see this is this uh, every year we have uh, the working party come in, and we have a married couple, uh, the Manises, and they come here and they clean up uh, the space. They repaint if they need to. Uh, you know, just uh, shore it up a little bit. They redid the decking a few years ago. And so Lance Manis served aboard, and the working party, uh, this is usually where they spend their time, him and his uh, lovely wife. So let's take a look. This is one, this is the board, all right, for all the officers. All right, and it would be that person is ashore, or that person is on board. All right, and this was a way of checking off officers uh, on or off the ship when the ship was in port. And this OOD office was almost served as the bridge when uh, the ship was in port. And every, all the communications funneled through this uh, office, and then up to the necessary division or department on board the ship. Ray Mabus, Seknav, says that he still has his uh, plaque, and of course I asked for it back, and he said, I don't think so. <laughs> so, if we're looking, there's the uh, quarterdeck office, office of the OOD. The accommodation ladder is all the way up there. No. Here is where the original accommodation ladder was. And you see the two brackets right there and there. And so it would, uh, you know, it would go down that way to the pier or a dock. And of course, that makes it much closer. There would have been a chief petty officer of the deck actually physically ushering people on or disembarking individuals, uh, standing watch uh, for security, and then he, that individual would report to the OOD. They also would have had a podium. Sometimes they would have had a podium standing right here. All right, so then you can check people in uh, at the podium uh, with your notebooks and checkoff lists. All right, so let's take a look at the 1974 yearbook, and here's a great shot of the officer and dignitary accommodation ladder with this particular OOD saluting aft. So what we see here 
is the two guns of the five inch twin. All right, those are, can't really see them because of our canvas, but I'll sneak up there and there you go. So their canvas was a little bit uh, lower, I think. I'll have to look at it again. But you would be able to see uh, the two, the twins, five inches. Also, if you look right here on the back of the six inch, you'll see that large vent structure. Right there. And there it is right there. And of course, the ship's bell which you can see right there. Now one of the things that could make it confusing for staff of not just the naval park but museum ships is when you look at the cruise books just the way they're set up. So in the 1972 cruise book there is the communications department and there's the picture of Ray Mabus with his beard, Lieutenant JG, uh, communications officer, and that's that department has its own section in the 1972 cruise book. In this one that I have out, the 1974, you go through all the ship uh, departments, there's no communications department listed. Here, they listed under COM-6 Fleet. So they have, they have a COM-6 Fleet staff as, its whole other, as a whole other section and that's where they put the communications department. So if you were to just look and you're looking for ship's company departments, you would not see in the 1974, you would not see the communications department. You would have to go to the COM-6 fleet staff and then you'd see it fall under there. So there was organic movement between staff uh, ship company and COM-6 Fleet. Sometimes you'd be on ship's company but you'd get moved to COM-6 Fleet or vice versa. And so for some reason in the 1974 cruise book they put the communications uh, department fully under the Admiral's staff. And I think we, if it doesn't take too long, I think I can show that. It might take too long. Do, do, do. Okay, there's the band. That would be under Six Fleet. Okay, musicians, F5, Fleet 5, Photo Lab. Hey, Joe Greco. How are you, sir? And here you go. Communications Division. All right, Signalmen. They fall under F2. There's F1 Division and COM-6 fleet staff. So if I'm reading this one right, the communications, the communications uh, department is listed under COM-6 fleet. So at some point in her career here, this was the original officer and dignitary accommodation ladder here. Some reason we moved it up forward uh, and built new brackets and braces for the ladder and the OD office where Second Ave Ray Mabus would stand watch. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have questions, comments, of course, please leave them. Uh, if you have thoughts about uh, how cruise books were set up or why they were set up that way, uh, and again, it addresses the organic nature of a ship that we are trying to talk about very statically. Uh, but it was a living, breathing entity. And people's orders shifted from ship to ship, COM-6 fleet to ship's company. Uh, and so when we talk about it now as a static artifact, they sometimes you're putting the square into the round hole. And sometimes it doesn't work. But thank you, leave comments. Hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks so much as always for your support. We'll see you again soon.